When I gave birth to my son a couple decades ago, a young mom told me, welcome to food forever. And I was wondering, what does that mean? And she says, well, you'll always be thinking about food. And you know what? She was right. From breastfeeding to bottles, to soft food, to hard food, then what's for school lunch when they started going to school? What's for dinner after a long day at work, after school care, and then on the weekends for their soccer games and their gymnastics tournaments and swim meets? What are they going to eat when we went on vacation, on the weekends when we wanna go out, or for their birthday parties, what food are we going to serve? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three easy tips on how to organize your fridge so you're always ready for that food forever. My first point is organize by how you think. And so all of us, you know, we, we think differently. And that's one of the things I really wanna stress with organizing. You have to organize for yourself, okay? Not for me, not for Pinterest, not for Instagram, not for YouTube organize for how you think. So for some of you, you might think breakfast for this shelf, lunch and dinner, and then veggies and maybe um, meals for the week. Or you are not really breakfast people, but you do want to have some eggs and bread and butter. And here are, by, by the way, this is like crescent rolls and stuff. So you might just have those as just kind of things you might grab here and there, right? And so you don't really eat breakfast, but this whole thing is dedicated to lunch. This is all dedicated to dinners or meals that I'm going to cook. The other way you can think is um, maybe you go by the meals that you're going to cook. So if you cook on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and plan for leftovers, which is what I do, you might want to have a whole area just for meals. So that's where you're going to put all the stuff that you'll be using to cook those, uh, those meals for that week. Okay, so example, if you're having spaghetti or tacos or beef stew or whatever, this, there would be a section just for those meals. Um, for me, I like to think, the way I think is more category. And so like when you look at a, like um, the grocery store, right? The eggs, the bread, the butters, one section, there's the dairy, produce and fruit. And then I have here bacon, deli, meat, tofu. So those are kind of more the proteins that I have here, but they're still categorized by the type of protein. And then we have here the veggies. So another way you think is that you may wanna have all the salad dressings in one area because you eat a lot of salad, right? And then maybe this whole area is dedicated to salad. My second tip is to organize by how you eat. So the first one was organized by how you think, or next one is organized by how you eat. So it's, it kind of goes hand in hand. And actually these three tips, if you can incorporate all three, I think it's gonna be the best way to organize your fridge. So I incorporate all three. So when you organize by how you eat, so at times you're, you know, your family has allergies or maybe you're on a certain uh, diet or you know, whatever meal plan, you don't wanna call it a diet, or let's say you're vegetarian or vegan. And so, or you do meatless Mondays. So that's how we eat. So that's why I have this tofu section because we uh, like to do every so often uh, meatless nights, okay? And, um, or you have, uh, let's say um, my, my spouse likes to, uh, he works nearby so he comes home to eat lunch and he calls this his break room, the kitchen. And so there might be a whole section dedicated for his lunches or if, for uh, you and your kids, you know, you take out your lunch. So there might be a section just for your lunches and what to prepare in there. So example, you might have the deli, the cheese, the bread in one section because that's how you eat. You have sandwiches for lunch. Or like I said, maybe somebody has allergies and so they have specific food that they need to eat. So you keep it in that section. Or you might have a different diet or meal plan for yourself. And so let me close this and open it back up for the light. So you might have a different meal plan for yourself. And so I would dedicate a section just for your meals because they're different from your family's meals. And then my third tip is to organize by how you play. So I like to look at this where, you know, you have your soccer games or soccer practice, swim meets, kind of what I mentioned earlier, 
or you like to eat out on the weekends, or you like to have people over for the weekends, or you know, a small dinner party, or another couple over for dinner. So that's kind of how you play, how you entertain, how you do extracurricular activities. Okay, so for us, we have this drawer dedicated especially for leftovers. So during the week, right, let's say this is filled up and we try to finish our leftovers because I do plan for a couple days of the week where I don't cook so that we're eating the leftovers. And so let's say there's a dinner party coming up this Saturday and now we've eat, gone through the leftovers a little bit, right? And so now I have this space just for how I play where I'm going to have that dinner party. Maybe I'll have fresh fruit here, uh, shark, stuff for charcuterie that's specifically for that dinner party, okay? Or if it's going to be like you, you're in charge of the, um, the snacks for the soccer game, okay, on Saturday. So you want to chop up the oranges and put them in little baggies. So you want that here or you have the yogurt or whatever snacks you have that need to be refrigerated. This is uh, organized for that where as we go through the leftovers for the week, there is now space for those specific um, events. Or maybe during the week, your kids have practice, they go to um, swim class or art class, whatever, and so you wanna have uh, that meal before your dinner when they come home and they're like really, really hungry. So maybe there's a dedicated area where it's really just for those type, the, that type of meal or that type of eating. You know, for me, that's how they, they, that's how they play, where it's not your regular dinner, but it's something that they still want to have before you, you have the dinner later that evening. So those are the three tips. Organize by how you think, organize by how you eat, and organize by how you play. So here you can see that a lot of how I think, eat, and play is by category. And then you saw how our leftover drawer here is specifically for how I think and eat and when we have um, people over kind of how we how I play where there's now space to put in here and your fridge is not overflowing and then you're eating everything that you're cooking or at least trying to. I hope these tips were helpful for you. It's just a matter of tweaking and figuring out yourself and your family and what works. So try something first and then if it doesn't work you know you can change it around later. If you want to see a full tour of my fridge, check out the next video and I'll see you in the next one. If you need help decluttering, I've created a free PDF checklist, 24 things to declutter. They're quick and easy and probably things you've been thinking about letting go of. Well, here's your sign to do so. Click the link in the show notes below, put in your email and you'll receive the download immediately. You've got this.